Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 10 unique business ideas and opportunities that you can take advantage of that very few people think to try. So these will be for the most part pretty cheap to start with a few exceptions but these are unique business ideas that are very kind of original and creative so it's probably not something you've really heard of before so the first one is a Fiverr business so Fiverr is something that allows you to make a full-time business by selling whatever you're good at services starting at five dollars and people go here to get little things done and now they have it to where you can scale up your services and promote things that are even more like $50 tasks and $100 tasks and stuff like that. So you can actually make a full time business with this without having to sell, you know, thousands of services for $5 a piece. But it's a lot, it's different from normal freelancing because freelancing you have to negotiate deals, you have to do an interview usually with the person who's hiring you, it's a per job basis. Um, and it can be hard to get clients and to separate yourself from all these other professionals. But the thing about Fiverr is it's all done within their website. Everything is taken care of in one system and there's so many different categories you can choose from as you can see up here. And all you have to do is go to Fiverr.com and click start selling and you can start putting up gigs. And these gigs don't even have to be related. You could do completely different gigs if you're say good at art and you want to do a writing gig you can do an art gig you can do a video editing gig you can do um, animation gigs you can do business gigs that help with SEO or something you can do all kinds of different stuff and it's all handled here you get reviews once people do the uh, task and pay you for it and you know the better reviews and the more reviews you get the better you rank so you get more business and it's all just done in such an easy platform so you can start your own business pretty much all completely with just Fiverr and that's it so that's a great way a very unique way to start a business number two is robotics repair now we're gonna have more and more needs for robotic repair in the future and we're getting things like drones that are starting to become mainstream. We're going to have little robots like uh, Jibbo or Amazon uh, robots. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the Echo or something like that. They're having all kinds of different robots that are being created and tested right now. They're even putting uh, forms of robots on cars to make them drive themselves. People need robotics experts to repair these types of things so if you can create a business in robotics repair you know a lot of ro about robotics you can do very well now if you don't know a whole lot about robotics or you're looking to see if you're even qualified to start a business in this area you can go to study.com and look up robot technician and it'll kind of tell you the types of things that you know uh, businesses will be looking for to hire robotics repair people and if you want to start a business, make sure you are at least trained very well in these areas. And um, it gives you some schools you can try if you want to get qualified and get certified in these areas. But robotic technicians are going to be a big thing in the near future and the distant future as we become um, more integrated with them in society. Number three, promoting apps. So promoting apps is something that's kind of new because very few people very few people really even know you can do it and there's a lot of new apps of course being created every day now and smartphones haven't been around that long I mean maybe 10 years or so maybe less but promoting apps that have referral programs and things like that that pay you for referrals are ways to actually you can actually start a business doing this I've actually seen people make a couple hundred dollars a day just promoting apps that use his referral code and then he gets points and payments from people who use his referral code to these free apps 
and so he makes a business off, out of it. So uh, you can promote apps like, say, Ebates, for instance, where they have a refer and earn $60 program. And if you can find more apps like this, there's Ebates, there's a bunch of them just in the App Store and Android uh, market. You can just look these up on Google Play and the App Store and um, try to find some that have referrals to where you get, say, 50% of uh, points that referred people earn and you get a certain amount for a friend code or you refer and you earn $60 like you do on Ebates where this is just a place where people use coupons and save on shopping so you can refer people by making YouTube videos doing blog posts doing ads to them uh, posting on social media doing a podcast doing all these types of things and the more you refer people to these referral programs, um, the more you can make. And number four is you could do a vintage clothes uh, flipping company. Or just do it as maybe an eBay store. So if you know a lot about clothes, what people will buy, what people won't, what would sell, and what you can get a deal on, um, it's like any bargain hunting, but it can actually be turned into a full-time thing here like Nasty Gal did. So you can go to nastygal.com you can look them up, this is what their site looks like and they have all this vintage clothing that they sell for a very big profit because they know how to get it at the lowest cost. And it got started by their uh, founder and you can look her story up about how she started Nasty Gal but it started as an eBay store where she just happened to find stuff at thrift stores, um, on eBay, and other places where the stuff was being sold for much cheaper than what it was worth. And she was one of the few people that actually knew that. So you can do things like that, sell vintage clothes and flip them. You can do other things like vintage toy flipping. You can do vintage card flipping for baseball cards, things like that. There's all kinds of vintage stuff you can flip. Clothes is just one example but Nasty Gal is a very creative business with uh, really nice margins that was just created from an eBay store so it's something you could start low with uh, very little investment and then really build up number five you can do a 3D printing service so if you can get your hands on a 3D printer um, buy one uh, get use of one from maybe someone you know or from work um, 3D printing services are very much going to be in demand. They're using 3D printers for um, artificial body parts so people can get artificial limbs who lose their limbs um, in the medical field. They're really looking for that kind of stuff now. Um, people use it for car parts. People will build an entire car off of 3D printed parts. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. People are even trying to 3D print food now. So they're getting into all kinds of things and 3D printing I think is, is really catching on and it's going to catch on much more in the future as they figure out better ways to do this but very few people are going to have 3D printers still for a while and very few people have them now so if you're one of the few people that has them you can do custom 3D printing orders like say 3dhubs.com does and get an idea of what they do and kind of see how you might structure your business if you have a 3D printer but you do all kinds of custom services, things that they print, and you can see kind of some of their stats here, but um, you could start a 3D printing service. Number six, you could do a listing service. So a listing service, basically, you help people sell stuff on the internet. So real estate, um, realtors, obviously they can cost a lot of money to use to sell your home it can cost you a lot of money to uh, or it co cost you a lot of time or you could lose money by trying to sell your car yourself and uh, things like that if you want to sell these types of things you might get somebody who's a listing expert so who knows how to sell stuff through listings and things like that so Zillow for instance is one thing you'd want to be good at because if you're gonna list homes or land then this is uh, one of the best sites to do it and if you're good at selling things on Zillow, you know what makes a good ad, you know what how to 
what kind of pictures look good you know how to price things and how to word things to make it uh, rank make it get the most traffic and get the most uh, interested people you can do really well using Zillow and Craigslist and all these other websites just by being a professional lister and then you can even do more by giving uh, bonus for sale signs um, photo techniques for your clients and how to take good photos to sell their stuff you can do all kinds of bonuses to help them too so a listing service is something you could do you could take a percentage or a flat fee number seven you could do website flipping so instead of flipping houses or flipping cars you could do something like GoDaddy auctions and you could go to GoDaddy auctions and say do this just to um, find websites you think are reasonable that you can work with that don't have a lot of negative SEO or anything you can buy them on the auctions if you outbid people um, and then you can build them up if you're good at blogging you're good at SEO you're good at building a brand you can do that and then you can resell it later on for thousands of dollars in many cases so like this one's up for fifty two hundred dollars this one's fifty thousand dollars these are just website domains that you can sell so you flip them using things like GoDaddy auctions um, you buy some that are already created or you can create them from scratch and then sell them so you can do things like that and make a full business out of flipping websites instead of you know what most people think when they think of flipping cars or flipping houses and things like that number eight you can do testing and feedback services so you can actually test people's products you can test people's websites you can give feedback um, you can get groups of people to give feedback say people that you don't even have working for you so say you're really good at taking polls you're really good at taking surveys of people and what they like what they don't like you can create an entire business off this user testing is just one example but um, they kind of help you by giving you feedback on whatever it is your products are your prototypes your websites your apps things like that um, but if you can get uh, crowdsourced feedback, crowdsourced testing, your own testing people and things like that, you can uh, make a really good business out of that. Number nine, you can do a mobile service where you actually can take the food truck concept and turn it into a type of maybe a mobile salon or a mobile um, something else. That's just one example. You, for instance, you can go on you know, Google and you type in something like a mobile salon truck and it's like people that take a truck like you would usually use for a food truck and they turn it into a place where they can cut your hair and go on the go this is really good for like senior care and stuff too or for people who just don't have a lot of free time or don't feel like going and finding uh, uh, places to go to get their hair done or nails or whatever um, this is just one example. There's also cigar shops. There's other things you can do, but you can take one of these mobile trucks and instead of getting an expensive lease space, have people wait in lines and all kinds of stuff. You can either go to your customers' homes or you can park in places that you know a lot of people go by, like um, outdoor malls and stuff, and sell your services there. It doesn't have to be a salon. It doesn't have to be a food truck. It can be all kinds of stuff. Just put it in this truck, make it mobile. And you can end up saving money and making more by doing this. And last but not least, you can do a social media sponsored post business where you sell um, the rights for advertisers to post to your social media profiles. And usually the more followers and the more engagement you have on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the more they will pay you to post on your uh, profile so one post can make you as much as a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars or tens of thousands of dollars in this if you've heard of the Kardashians for instance they make thousands of dollars per tweet so you can go to say sponsoredtweets.com and you can get connected and get started there there are other sites you can look up on Google for this but build up social media if you want to do this get really good fans and you can sell just advertisements on your profile and make money from that you don't even have to figure out what to say on your profile so the advertisers pretty much do all the work all you have to do is just have the audience 
So if you got something from this video, if you feel like you learned about some ideas that maybe you could use or that you've never heard of before, please like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this. And if you want to let me know about some other very unique business ideas that maybe most people wouldn't think about, or you want to let me know what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to contact me directly, get more in-depth blog posts on this type of stuff and everything, you can go to selfmadesuccess.com. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.